welcome back to my channel and to another video you guessed it this is definitely a pregnancy announcement video i'm so excited to be at the point in my pregnancy where i can share the news with everyone um so yeah this is gonna be how we found out that i was pregnant some first trimester symptoms how i'm feeling how this pregnancy is different than previous ones and all of that but first if you're new around here welcome thank you so much for sharing an interest in my channel my name is angelique Krav. i am a mom and a wife obviously from south africa and uh, yeah on my channel you'll find loads of different content i'm into organizing cleaning videos day in the life videos mommy videos anything like that so if lifestyle videos in general is what you're interested in then go ahead and click that subscribe button i would love to have you as a viewer and with all of that said let's get into the videos i am currently 14 weeks and four days <laughs> i am currently 14 weeks and four days pregnant um with baby number two technically baby number four we'll get into that later um but i am 14 weeks right now and i'm so excited um i kept this for quite a while i didn't share um on social media or on youtube so i decided to wait a while um before posting anything about the pregnancy just simply because um previous to getting pregnant with this little one i had two miscarriages before and um with the first miscarriage um I went ahead and posted immediately when we found out because I was just so excited. So I posted and then I had to post that unfortunately we had the miscarriage. So this time around, I just thought I would wait a little bit, wait it out before posting anything on social media or on my YouTube channel. And if you can hear a noise in the background, I'm so sorry. Um, we live in an estate and they're building literally all around our premises so if you do hear building work i apologize for that but you know it is what it is so first i jump into how i found out that i was pregnant so back in april i took about four pregnancy tests during the month um and my husband at some point was like another one like it's not gonna change it took one a few days ago it's not gonna change and i just kept telling him I don't know why, but I have a feeling that these tests are all wrong. So um, the last time I bought a pregnancy test, I bought two so that I have one at home um, when I felt like I wanted to test again. And so I did test again and this time around, well, it showed nothing. So it just showed one line. And then this time around, I was like, I'm not going to throw this away immediately. I'm just going to wait it out for about five minutes or so because i know on the test they say you shouldn't read the results after five minutes i don't know why um but i left it for about four and a half minutes to five minutes and i checked again and there was the faintest line ever you had to look very very close to see this line um and so two days later we went and bought the digital one the clear blue test and it said that i was expecting um, that i was pregnant two to three weeks uh yeah so that's how we found out that i was pregnant obviously didn't film any of it um i'm just not i'm, I'm just not someone who's filming you know every time i test for pregnancy or something um, we don't know the gender yet um we went for our 12 week scan and this baby was just so busy literally jumping up and down <laughs> in my womb so we couldn't see anything so we'll be heading back in about maybe two weeks or so um, to see if we can then see the gender. We'll be having a gender reveal party for family. So I will be blogging that, also posting it on my YouTube channel so you guys will know the gender as soon as we know. Um, but yeah, it's exciting. So this pregnancy has been very different than previous ones. So again, for those of you who are new around here, we do have a little boy. He's two, he's almost two and a half. Um, next month he'll be exactly two and a half years old, but he's two years old at the moment. Um, and then, as I mentioned, we had two miscarriages previous to getting pregnant with this one. 
So I'm going to mention those just simply because I'm going to be comparing the pregnancies. Um, just to show you guys how each of them were different. Um, so yeah, I'm going to refer back to my pregnancy with Seth more. Um, just simply because I didn't have a YouTube channel when I got pregnant with him. So I only started, I think he was about eight months old when I started my YouTube channel. So um, I didn't have these pregnancy updates with him. So I'm going to refer back to his pregnancy just to kind of compare the two so you guys can see how they're different and all of that. So anyway, um, I felt pretty much okay up until week six of my pregnancy. When I hit week six, um, I just started feeling super nauseous literally 24 7. um i with seth i did have the nausea um i didn't throw up at all when i was pregnant with seth i had nausea um mostly morning afternoon and then at night but there were some times during the day where i felt better so with seth i could only eat like dry toast with nothing on <laughs> and um baked potatoes with a lot of salt and french fries those three things was like what i ate for three months because that's all that helped for the nausea this time around also but the bread i couldn't stomach the bread as much i don't know it just made me feel so much more nauseous um and then the french fries did help anything salty um helped but not really <laughs> up until the point where i started um drinking some pills asic is their name i think that's how you pronounce it asic so this is specifically for pregnancy related nausea and vomiting um and then this time around i did have a few days where i did throw up as well tmi maybe but <laughs> that's just it is what it is you know so um i did throw up a few times in this pregnancy which i didn't the previous one um or the previous pregnancies um, especially with Seth so that was new to me um, and then the nausea was just 10 times worse than it was with Seth um, but I did get the ASIC it seems to work for me um, I've recently like a few days ago stopped using it because I want to like kind of see if I'm starting to feel better without drinking it because I'm not a big fan of drinking any medication while pregnant um, but you know if you need some you need some <laughs> so um, there's that and then heartburn is a new one in this pregnancy as well with my pregnancy with Seth I had absolutely no heartburn throughout my pregnancy not one day up until the last week that I was pregnant so I was pregnant with Seth 42 weeks <laughs> so I was two weeks um, overdue with him I just didn't want to go for induction so I just waited it out and he came when he came so up until my last week of pregnancy with Seth, I had absolutely no heartburn. So the last week I had um, some at night when I went to bed. But this time around, about three weeks ago or so, the heartburn started. But I've noticed that it only happens when I eat like doughy things like bread, anything that's made with like dough or um, like cakey if that makes sense, cakey <laughs> consistency things. If I eat that, then I do get heartburn. So bread, um, cupcakes, muffins, cake, anything like that gives me heartburn. <laughs> so I also um, had to get myself something for heartburn, even though I don't want to drink any medication, but um, that really does help me, especially at night when I go, wanna go to bed and um, the heartburn just starts up again. Um, I do drink that mostly just at night. I don't drink it during the day. Um, that's just it. And yeah, that is heartburn and nausea covered. As far as being tired goes, I mean, if you're pregnant, you're tired. That's just what happens when you get pregnant. However, I did notice that I was way more tired when I was pregnant with Seth than um, I am this time around. I don't know if it's maybe because I now have a toddler, a <laughs> two-year-old, to run after and that just makes me feel more awake. Because with Seth, I obviously didn't have another child to look after so I can go to bed whenever. I do, real, I do notice that I do get tired 
earlier at night. So between seven o'clock and eight o'clock, like Seth and I go to bed. <laughs> um, so I do get tired earlier at night, but during the day, I don't really feel that tired. I haven't really felt that tired during the day at all. Except for when I do drink my ASIC, it makes you a little bit drowsy. But I wasn't that drowsy that I felt like I need a nap now. Just, just like a little bit drowsy, more than tired, if that makes sense. So yeah, that is as far as being tired goes. I really haven't been that tired in this pregnancy. And then cravings. Um, with Seth, I had only like a few little cravings that I kind of carried throughout my pregnancy. So I craved with Seth specifically. This is our two-year-old boy. I craved um, jelly tots. That was like the one big craving was jelly tots. Stary Stumpy, um, the strawberry milk. That one was a big one as well. I had that almost every day. Ice cream. We literally had soft syrup ice cream every single day up until I gave birth. And then it just kind of went away. I didn't want ice cream again. So <laughs> ice cream, jelly tots, and then the um, strawberry milk, Stereo Stumpy specifically. And then chocolate cake. I also craved a lot of chocolate cake when I was pregnant with Seth. And um, the other thing that I also craved a lot, specifically early pregnancy, was french fries. I'm thinking it's just because it did help a lot with the nausea. But yeah, that was like at the top of my head that I can remember most of the things that I craved and that just like kept up until I gave birth with him I craved those things this time around however it's really really crazy the cravings is insane it's like the weirdest thing to me so at one point two o'clock in the morning I woke up and I craved two minute noodles which is the weirdest thing the weird thing about my cravings this time around is that Everything I've been craving is not something we typically buy and have in our house. So it's not like I can just go to the pantry or go to the drawer and just, you know, eat my cravings because literally none of it we have at home because it's not something we buy with our grocery shops because it's just not things that we actually eat. Um, things like, okay, this time around, let me, I'm gonna start with the similarities between um, Seth's pregnancy and this one. Also chocolate cake, I've been craving a lot of chocolate cake. Um, I've been craving milk a lot. However, this time around when I drink the milk, it makes me nauseous. I mean, with Seth, when I drank the milk, it actually helped. So that's weird, I'm, I've been craving milk, but I haven't been drinking it a lot because I know that it makes me nauseous. So that's the similarities. And then also French fries. <laughs> I've been craving a lot of French fries as well this time around. Um, jelly tots, not as much, but I do have days when I'm like, I would like a jelly tot right now. Um, <laughs> so those are most of the similarities. Now, <laughs> the funny cravings this time around is like I mentioned, like the two minute noodles, two o'clock in the morning. It's just the weirdest thing. And then, um, the one morning I woke up <laughs> and I craved, um, salty crackers and like salty crackers with cheese on. Um, I craved that. I went and bought that <laughs> the day that I woke up and craved it. So I had that. Um, the other funny craving is tomato sauce, ketchup, whatever you call it. Tomato sauce. Something we never buy because we don't eat tomato sauce. We eat only like mayonnaise and sweet chili and those sort of things. So <laughs> tomato sauce was the one that I craved as well that I had to go out and buy. Bovro. For those of you who live in South Africa, uh, for those of you who don't live in South Africa, I'm thinking it might be very close. It's very close to Marmite. And Marmite, I think, is very close to Vegemite overseas. I'm not sure. I've never had Vegemite. But the way they describe it is a lot like Marmite. <laughs> the Marmite is just like the brownish one. And then the Bovril is like the very um, liquidy black one. Anyway, I've been craving Bovril. Um, which did at start help a lot with nausea, but it started giving me heartburn. So I had to decide, do I want to feel nauseous and not eat that? Or do I want to eat it and have a little bit of heartburn and like let it help with the nausea? So anyway, Bovril was mine. Rice Krispies. 
the weirdest thing we don't eat cereal really in the house we have started now that I'm pregnant I've been buying cereal because I've been craving it but in general we don't eat cereal um, <laughs> and the one morning I woke up and I was like I crave Rice Krispies so <laughs> I went out and bought, bought myself Rice Krispies so that's the other weird craving um, that I had and then Coke I've been craving Coca-Cola um, strangely enough I have read that it does help with nausea some ladies obviously there's caffeine in it and a lot of sugar so not too much um, but I've been craving that <laughs> and then bar one chocolate bar one chocolate specifically bar one chocolate for like a week on end I had one every day because I just craved it so much it has since gone I wouldn't say it's, it's gone away completely but I don't crave it as much anymore um, but bar one was definitely one of my cravings I feel like the list of my cravings is just like so long this time around whereas previous time it just wasn't that long um, and then the other one that I crave a lot is yogurt um, I do crave a lot of yogurt um, oh and then the biggest one of all is like the weirdest so literally I think a month or two before we found out that I was pregnant with Seth um, back then I stopped drinking coffee um, I just reached a point where the coffee literally made me feel sick throughout my body like I just I didn't feel good so um, I just kind of quit coffee literally in one day I was just like yesterday I had a cup from today on no more coffee <laughs> so I quit coffee completely and I haven't craved coffee ever since it's about two and a half three years ago that I quit coffee and I kid you not since I got pregnant with this little one I've been craving coffee like crazy like one morning I woke up I literally smelled coffee we don't drink coffee in our house because my husband also stopped drinking coffee he was just never really a big coffee drinker so when I stopped he stopped so we didn't even have coffee in the house but I smelled coffee and I craved it so bad so I haven't had coffee um I've been craving it but I haven't had it because I'm just like you know I'd rather stay away caffeine isn't good for pregnancy and also um you know I was addicted to it um so I'd rather just stay away I guess I could go for like a decaf cup like just one so that I can get that craving out of my system but I'd rather not so I haven't had coffee but I've been craving it that was the weirdest one to me so I'm kind of thinking maybe there's something in the coffee that my body's just like you know I need that I don't know I don't know why I'm craving coffee but I'm craving coffee um and then there is a few other cravings um maybe I'll just put it up on the screen if there's any that I missed um but yeah that's that's my cravings this time around it's crazy it feels like all I've been doing is eating and then I think about the last thing to touch around is maybe the weight gain so um, I have no idea how much I've gained so far. Um, <laughs> I just know that I'm way bigger than I was with Seth. So when I got pregnant with Seth, I was way skinnier than I am now. I was on a huge diet for like a year um, prior to me getting pregnant with Seth. So I weighed less in my ninth month of pregnancy with Seth than I do now. So that's really sad to me. <laughs> Um, but it is what it is. I've gained a lot of weight after I gave birth to Seth. <clears throat> I really don't know what happened. I don't know if it's just simply because I, at some point, I felt like I could eat, could eat anything and I just didn't gain any weight. Um, specifically when I was pregnant with Seth as well. I actually lost weight when I was pregnant with Seth, so I was so thin pregnant, if that makes sense. Um, and then this time around, I was overweight when I got pregnant so I still am obviously it's not ideal to lose weight while you're pregnant you actually want to gain a little so <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous about the weight gain in this pregnancy honestly so I'm trying to not eat that much even though as I mentioned the list of cravings is just insane this time around um, <laughs> previous ones it just wasn't there yeah so anyway I'm <laughs> thinking I'm thinking that's all that I can say about the pregnancies as far as um, as far as doctor's visits 
we had one at six weeks just simply because that was like about two weeks after I found out that I was um, pregnant I could not keep track of my cycle so I had no idea how far along I was except for the two to three weeks that the digital uh, pregnancy test showed us I couldn't figure out how long how far along I was so we went to the doctor I was six weeks and five days with that scan and which was awesome is we already heard the heartbeat at that scan which was like huge for me because um, as I mentioned I had the two previous um, miscarriages so the one I knew I was pregnant um, the second one I had no clue that I was pregnant I just had the miscarriage the one day but the one that we did know we went um, for our first doctor's visit at seven weeks without pregnancy and at seven weeks we couldn't find a heartbeat for that pregnancy although she did say it is quite early so we shouldn't be panicked or anything um, however at week eight without pregnancy all of my pregnancy symptoms went away like so, literally overnight I just was nauseous I wasn't tired all of the pregnancy symptoms went away that's when I find uh, when I thought like maybe there's something wrong with this pregnancy um, so with this one at six weeks and five days we could already find um, the heartbeat we heard it which is amazing um, so yeah this pregnancy is good and healthy and all of that so I'm very excited very excited to find out the gender um, like I said it might be in the next two weeks that we find out hopefully and then um, I will be vlogging the gender reveal so stick around if you're excited to find out make sure you turn on your notifications so you don't miss when I post that one um, and obviously you should be subscribed <laughs> to the channel if you want to see all of that um, so yeah I think that's about all I can say about this pregnancy so far um, technically I'm I'm entering my second trimester or my I am in my second trimester this week technically I think um, so yeah that that was it for first trimester like I was very nauseous um, I wasn't as tired I've obviously gained weight <laughs> I've had the wor weirdest cravings and all of that so anyway I will be doing second trimester update and I will be doing a third trimester update so I'm not gonna do week by week um, because honestly I can't remember what happened week by week um, so I'm just gonna do an overhaul of every trimester so this was trimester one um, yeah so far so good <laughs> so anyway thank you guys so much for watching this video and for sticking around on my channel for subscribing for liking for commenting and all of that I will see you guys in the next one bye